and welcome back to All Things Theology. Doing a wee bit of a different video today, so I want to show you kind of what I do during the day. I'm a youth worker, youth minister, and people always ask me, Andrew, what do you do all day? So, let me show you off. So the exhaust is broken in my car, hence why I literally sound like I'm driving some sort of crazy sports car, but it's actually just a wee CNIB. Wait to hear, wait to hear how loud it is inside. So that ain't good, gotta get that fixed. The gate is already open, so annoying whenever the gate is closed and I have to stick my arms through here and it's always really wet. Whoa, look how messy my office is. <laughs> this one's clean, this one is mine. Right, so here we are, my nice tidy office. <laughs> not tidy at all. Um, first things first, you guys know that I generally like to start my day studying the Bible. I think it's really good practice. Um, whenever I was working at home, I tried to do it a lot more, um, but I want to stay in that habit, I guess. So in the office here, going to spend a wee bit of time doing that then. Get on with more. So something really cool here that I would never ever have picked up on. This just kind of shows you the value of commentaries, I think. It's in Isaiah 1 verses 5 and 6 and there's these three words that are used. It's smitten, sick and bruises. It's kind of obscured a bit by most English translations apparently. But those link with three words that are used in Isaiah 53. The smitten, smitten, uh, sick, sickness and bruises bruised. Isaiah 53 is the passage about the suffering servant, which is Jesus. And so this kind of showing that the guilt of Israel, their, their smittenness, their sickness, their bruises, that's going to be put on the suffering servant. This is so cool that it's talking about this in chapter one and it's going to pick it up again in chapter 53. That's just a really cool example of how this whole big thing is it's God's plan. This big arc of salvation wasn't just like a, a thrown together plan B. There was always the plan and that's just really cool. So there's something that I learned in this book. Boom. Time for a staple in my morning routine, my way to fix. Someone really, really important. Tim, of you, and <laughs> someone really important. Really Tim, important. <laughs> you, you would agree. Um, have you had any words of wisdom for the good viewers of all things theology? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> but I'm very sure you that uh, youth workers work very hard and uh, their role is very important. Um, <laughs> Perfect. That is exactly what I told you to say. I shouldn't laugh at the end of that either. But, uh, <laughs> No, we'll edit, we'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. Just leave um, it serious tone. We work hard. But, uh, yeah, no. Just maybe, maybe just keep going. You know, God is good. Taste and see. Keep going. That's my. Those are my words of wisdom. Those are good words of wisdom, to be fair. Thanks. Amazing. Appreciate Thank that. you, Tim. I'm excited to feature. Yeah, I don't know if like not many people have featured, so this is exciting for you. Big news. So Tim is a good friend of mine. He is 
uh, kind of like a youth worker. So I work in the Church of Ireland and the Church of Ireland is split up into like dioceses, which are like church counties. Tim kind of coordinates and works with all of the youth workers in the diocese and runs stuff for them and does all sorts of great stuff. Really great guy. And what he was saying there about tasting and seeing and like digging into how God is good. That's just something we were talking about for a while there that sometimes we are told and like motivated to come to God out of guilt or shame because we're all dirty rotten stinking maggot sinners yeah like that's true that we are all sinners but I think it's just a much better motivation and a much better reason to come to Jesus is to come realizing that he is good to taste and see that he's good and that he welcomes us in and that his story his plan his his way of life is the better way. So that was a great wee chat we had. That was cool. Um, now I'm gonna see some young people because I'm a youth worker. That is part of my job. I see young people. Gonna do that now. So I'm recording a video. Is it for, recording already? Yeah. Yeah, it's already recording. I'm doing a video for all things the oh dear, for all things theology and what youth workers do all day. Um, yeah, that's quite good. Oh. Try to keep you up. So I can't get you in because you're under 18. But do you think everyone should like and subscribe? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Why? Because... Because Andrew is the best man in the world. Heard here first, Andrew is the best man in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Super bright out. Um, session done with the young people. I'm going to go home and get my lunch. I'm so hungry. So I'm going to go get my food. Ooh. church service um, that I'm doing for this Sunday so doing that now fun times I've said this before and I'll no doubt say it again keep running keep striving after Jesus keep following him this is where you'll find a full life this is where you'll find a life filled with hope and with joy and with peace those things far outweigh the distractions and the difficulties that come attached with Christianity. And so fight the good fight, finish the race, keep the faith, strive towards that crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to you on the last day. Amen. So yeah, today's been kind of productive. I have, what have I done? Read the Bible and then cleared out church. I didn't get any of that in video. Souls. I saw some young people and then for the rest of the afternoon I'm going to work on this church service. So that is a fairly standard youth work day, youth ministry day. People always ask me, they're like, Andrew, what do you do all day? What is your job? There you go. That's kind of what I do. And I will do this until my dear wife comes home and then I'll probably make dinner. Because I'm a great husband. <laughs> Hannah's home. <laughs> I'll be me done work, so signing out for now. That's what dude probably saying. Find it going. And we'll do that. I say God bless. So if you enjoyed this video, then please do leave it with a like and consider subscribing if you haven't done that. It would make Hannah really happy, wouldn't it? So happy. Um but until next time, God bless. <laughs> <laughs>